interesting too because I, I I started this as an instrumental project, um, and then when I started singing, I noticed it really threw my time off. Really. And that was very surprising. It made me kind of rush more. It made me kind of play, yeah, kind of rush more than I, I, I would without singing. And so I realized that, like, I the more and more I realize every instrument, if just because you have good time on one instrument doesn't mean you're going to have good time on every instrument that you play. You kind of have to learn good time on every instrument. So I've actually been shedding singing in time, which is really weird, but it's getting better. So The neat thing about four is that you know, the bass player and the drummer are both, whatever their time is, it's going to be the it's same. It's going to be the same, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they don't fight. So. Which is which is an interesting question. Uh, when you're playing a, with another bass player, obviously you're going to be playing off of each other a little bit. Yeah. Do you try and line yourself up more here with the drum set, or do you I sometimes do improvise the bass drum and then follow it with the bass line? Sure. I do both. I uh, we demonstrated a little bit of this earlier, but we'll do it for the live stream. I, I'll I'll improvise something too, um, where I'll just play um, I'll just play a bass line and then not follow it, and then I'll follow it. So, um, That was kind of a mixture of all those things. Um, and obviously that's like, if people are like, oh, that's a gimmick playing two instruments at once, clearly that's not a gimmick because you just can't do that with two people. Like you can't play things that are orchestrated in that kind of a complex matter with no rehearsal. So that's what I'm, what's really exciting about it is just making um, arrangements on the fly that sound rehearsed, but that was just an improvisation. So it's pretty fun. <laughs> do you feel the wind? 